This is the new serverless MCP. This allows you to debug issues with cloud resources in an AWS account in your IDE, so you never have to go to the AWS dashboard yourself. It works with serverless framework, but it also works with a lot of infrastructure as code tools. To use it, you have to use one of the new AI enhanced IDEs like Cursor or Windsurf, then go into the MCP settings and simply reference the serverless framework CLI and the MCP argument. Once you've set it up, you should see something like this that lists all the awesome tools that come packed in this, into this MCP, like looking up specific AWS resources, doing CloudWatch log searching, looking up deployment history, as well as the latest documentation for serverless framework and serverless container framework are also bundled into this MCP. Let's try this out. I've got a serverless framework project here. It's already been deployed. It uses a single AWS Lambda function as its backend, and I've created a bunch of errors in that Lambda to see if the MCP can debug them. Debug my latest Lambda errors. Now I do a lot of lazy prompting. I don't think I'm alone in that, but the magic of this MCP is it's really good at understanding which resources you're referring to. It knows how to find those correctly on the AWS account and pull in just the right amount of information needed to resolve the issue. So first it scanned the workspace to understand which infrastructure's code tools I'm using. In this case, it's serverless framework. And then it went and confirmed that the resources it needs to look up actually exist. Next, it fetched information from a specific Lambda function. Now it fetched some information from an IM role, probably because it's related to the issue. And let's see what it found here. So this looks like a classic permissions issue where the Lambda function doesn't have permission to write to a DynamoDB table. It returned the full error message and everything. And it's actually preparing the permissions needed to resolve the issue right in my serverless.yaml file. All this without going to the AWS dashboard. Okay, let's try something else. Say I've never worked on this project or I haven't touched it for a long time and I want to get a summary of everything that's in it including how it's wired up architecturally, how many Lambda function invocations it's received recently, as well as what the average response time is. Give me a summary of my service and everything in it. Include essential Lambda metrics. Another lazy prompt. I'm not proud, but let's see what this can come up with. So the MCP ships with a service summary tool for just this purpose. This is going to look at all the resources in your project and pull information for all of them simultaneously. And here we go. The summary is starting to pour in. We get a basic infrastructure overview like AWS region. We get low level details on the Lambda function. Uh, you even get code size. We also have Lambda metrics in here as well. We've got 15 invocations in the last three hours. It says there are zero, er zero errors, um, but there were actual errors caught in the application code. There are zero throttles. We have duration, 166 milliseconds, max duration P95, maximum concurrent executions, a key error pattern that it found from looking at the logs. It gives some API gateway information, always helpful. IM role information, including a brief policy summary, application code structure overview, and then it goes back into the key issue to resolve, and that is the lack of required permissions to access the DynamoDB table. All this in a few seconds, and again, without having to go to the AWS dashboard. All right, let's try one last use case. This MCP comes bundled with the latest serverless framework documentation and serverless container framework documentation. So let's see if we could reference that to improve our service here. How do I set different config for different stages in serverless framework v4. So the MCP includes a tool called docs, which is going to call to fetch multiple documentation pages. Now it's reading the serverless.yaml. And it's not just going to fetch the docs and put them in here. It's actually going to apply those to a suggestion. And here it's suggesting we use the new stages property where you could set default configuration across all stages, as well as specific configuration for specific stages. The key point here is that this is actually a new feature in serverless framework version four. And if we didn't have access to the latest documentation, the AI probably would not have suggested this. 
The serverless MCP can do all that and a lot more. Again, it works with serverless framework as well as other infrastructure as code tools, and we have a lot of big plans for this. To get started, check out the docs on serverless.com and let us know what you think.